So friends, this unassuming street that you see right here, look, this is the house and it is slated to be torn down, believe it or not. You see that garage in the back back there? That is the first Disney Studios. This was Walt's uncle's house, 4406. It is still standing, but they're gonna destroy it and build another house here, if you can imagine that. That's crazy talk. Instead of fixing it up and making it. So Walt would have walked up this, no doubt. So the first Disney Studios. Studios. Now, I don't know if that building is original back no, there. No, I've heard they've moved it. I to think they Disney. moved the building somewhere and build another one, but that's where it was back there. Wow. So this is at the corner of Commonwealth Avenue, 1700 North, and Kingswell Avenue, 4400 West. And you can see that there's a hedgerow right here, and the house is right there. Just like that. It's an evil baby. You don't see that every day. Who knew Caesar was going to show up and save the day? <laughs> so Caesar says that they've got to leave the house like it is and fix it. So, whew, that hurt my heart. I like it. We need to just fix it. Hey, that's great news. That's real good news. If they spy guy, I might need to buy it. Hey, if we could buy this. So this gives you an idea of what it was like around here. I don't know if you can go down the alley. Like a cat. Like the old proverbial alley cat. Nope. But I tell you who can go down the alley the glory. It's time to send the glory up.
So friends, there's one stroke of luck, Staley Ranch, which is a historical village and museum, Garden Grove Historical Society. The address you see is 12174 Euclid Street, Garden Grove. About three miles from Disneyland is the original garage. It got saved from being torn down, luckily. There's other people in the world like Trey and I where we're trying to save these historical sites and these historical things or at least get a record of it. That is the original garage that Walt Disney built the original desk that he used to animate Steamboat Willie. It happened in that garage and thankfully you can go see it at Staley Ranch. So his uncle's house is literally right down the street but he moved to this area and he shared the storefront with a real estate office as well. See a lot of that around here. Let's go in here and talk to these folks, stay tuned. You see the Mickey Mouse right here. Let's talk to him. It's a historic site. You've got to come here and see these folks. 1925 to 1931, Disney's first studio. It is now uh, a copy, copy shop and they have mailboxes and all that kind of stuff here. And you see the world's funniest carbon cartoon character is Mickey Mouse. He talks, he sings, he dances. So this is the layout that this would have been. You see that's the alley which is on this side of the building. So on this side of the building, that's Kingswell right here. And that's the alley over there. So if you turn this, that right there is the front. So we're actually standing right here. And you can see Roy's desk was, was on the other side of the wall. It says that camera and the stop motion camera and stuff was further back. Restrooms at the time used as a dark room and animator's desk were all along the wall. Right in here? So the camera would have been there. Is that stairs going up? So they would have had, you can see there's stairs. Well, the stairs must not have been in here at that time. So this was more open. And so the uh, Roy's desk would have been right here. And you can see this thing's not very wide. So they were really squeezed in here. So Roy Disney's there and the stop motion camera stuff was back there. And they created uh, Silly Symphonies here. And that's them standing in front of this building right here. Pretty cool stuff. So friends, very nice lady here. If you get a chance to stop by, stop by and see them. But we're going to show you photographs of Disney and animators and different people standing right in front of this very building before it changed. Started out with his uncle right down there, moved to here, and then moved to Hyperion. Is that person all right, you reckon? Are they okay, you think? They're not moving. Wow. So let's go see what it looks like around the side. You know how I am. I don't want to leave any stone unturned. Show you how little this place is. Hello. Great. It's just a little tiny building. And they rented a spot in the back first. So can you imagine those guys starting in this studio to really start getting big, and then they end up in that studio from here. Let's go see. So friends, we're at the corner of Hyperion and Griffith Park. That's the intersection right there. And I got something I wanna show you. This is a supermarket called Gelson's. And you're not gonna believe what was here. This right here was here. Walt Disney's Hyperion Studios was right here where this Gelson's is. This is where Mickey Mouse as we know it today was born and Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. They started out in a little building behind their uncle's house and then they were able to do the Silly Symphony cartoons in Steamboat Willie and make enough money to create this studio. What amazes me is when I was reading the book uh, about how Walt created Snow White and all those things, the amount of people that it took to create the Snow White cartoon was 1,200 people, which is pretty crazy. But 
it started in a garage, like so many amazing businesses, and then it moved to here, and then it moved to Burbank. And then, of course, you know Disney the way it is today. But that right there used to be right here. So friends, I'm at the back corner. This road right here, I'm gonna show you in this photograph, is that road right there. You see where my thumb's at, you see that road? Now you see that little house right there where my thumb is at? That is this little house. Still here. So this house was here and you see the chimney. We'll zoom in right there. Trey's on the other side getting shots of it. But the studio was right there and now it is a grocery store. So they tore down the original studio and built a grocery store. And it's this little house. So Disney Studios was right there. That's the back edge of that grocery store. That is that back edge right there. There's the house. So Fred's, this right here is 355 Carrollwood. This is Walt Disney's place. Now it got torn down and they built a different house and all that kind of stuff. But this is where Walt lived right here. And I believe this is the place that had the train. 355 Carrollwood. Right here. Hey Walt. What do you think about these crazy things? Yeah, that's pretty cool. You know what, he, he would go, hmm, I wonder if Walt lived here, hmm. Walt's mailbox. Yep. So this was Walt Disney's probably entrance? I mean, yeah. what do you think? Yeah, this is it. So this is where the track and... I believe that this is where the train is, or was, and I'll show them the train and the track and all that cool stuff what it looked like so this is what the house would have looked like behind those gates right there sadly after walt and lillian passed away the property got sold the house got torn down that is the train you can see they would ride the train around look had a real tunnel the barn that you see right there is where he would build these things walt literally built these items built these tracks built these trains himself he did a lot of the work Pretty cool stuff. He really had quite an imagination. And you can see how big the train tracks were around the house and around the barn. You can see there was a garage and pool. It was five acres that they bought. And you can see where the tunnel was at the top. That's another engineer working on it. But they would bring people over and ride them around in the train. Isn't that pretty cool? Luckily, this barn got saved, friends. It got taken away from here. It's at the Carrollwood Foundation. And I'll show you the address where you can actually go see the original barn that you just saw in those photos. Luckily, again, with the other barn, someone thought enough of this to save it from being torn down. Thankfully, it got done. This is what the house that is there now looks like. The property was purchased from the Disney estate about a year after Lillian passed away, which would have been 1998 for about eight and a half million dollars. This new house got built on here. I think it's about 35,000 square feet. In 2014, it sold for 75 million. And as for the train, where did the train go? Yep, you can see the train in the Disney Family Museum. And you can find that in San Francisco, California. The train is right there. And by the way, the front car of the train, the locomotive, is called the Lillian Bell after his wife. And he called the train the Carrollwood Pacific. Yes, indeed he did. Thank you so much for watching. I'm a big Walt Disney fan. I know you are too. It was interesting to get to see these places. Tighten up and go see them when you go to California. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.